Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and BSC timeline fans of all ages, welcome to our latest vlog. Today we are discussing Mallory, everybody's favorite babysitter. And by that I mean pretty much nobody's favorite babysitter. I have never, ever, ever seen it. one of those opinion polls where people are like, oh, my baby favorite babysitter is this one, my favorite babysitter is that one. Nobody ever says Mallory. And I'm trying to figure out today why exactly that is. And I think it's because a lot of us who used to read the books could see some of ourselves in Mallory. We wanted our BSC role models to be that girl we wanted to be, not the girl we already were. Um, Mallory liked to read. She liked to sit around and on her butt, basically. You know, I know that was me as a kid. She was also really, really whiny. Let's get straight to the point about this. She... Hey, Dobby, you're stealing my mojo over there. Knock it off. She was not exactly a happy-go-lucky kind of girl. She complained about everything. And part of this was that she was 11, and they kept saying, oh, 11's a hard age. Well, every adolescent age is a whole age. I feel like my age is now is still a hard age, and I'll be 34 at the end of the month. So, you know, get over it, Mallory. Suck it up. But when you look at, you know, Mallory and Jesse, let's put them side by side. Here's Mallory, here's Jesse. You know, need your imaginations here, people. Um... Mallory was always whining about stuff. Jessie was kind of like, la, 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 la. And I'm not saying Jessie was perfect, but I think the difference between them was Mallory was more adolescent -y and more aware of stuff. Yeah, Jessie was the one who was kissing the boys. But Mallory was the one who was like, why can't I wear makeup? Why can't I get, you know, my glasses take, braces taken off? Why can't I get contacts? Well, Mallory was all like, I'm going to throw on a leotard and a sweatshirt and call that an outfit. I think that's the real problem with Mallory, is that she was just too adolescent-y for everybody. Whiny, annoying. She was calm and rational all the time, which isn't really that interesting to read about sometimes. You know, let's be logical. Yay! Although, you know, sometimes it makes for entertaining reading in inadvertent in ways. And when Mallory would say something, I would laugh at her because she sounded like a 30-year-old mom instead of a, an 11-year-old girl. Um, that happened a couple times in this book when her parents were like, Ooh, I don't know if we can go to New York for, uh, for Thanksgiving because, you know, that there's so many of us and we need to find a, a restaurant and we need to find a uh, hotel and it's Thanksgiving and no place is going to be have availability. And Mallory's like, calm down. There are thousands of restaurants and hotels in New York. We can find a place. <laughs> Sorry. Um... I just read that part, and I'm like, yeah, she sounds more adult than the adults do. So, in any case, yeah, like I said, Mallory, kind of annoying. Also, the way she would, like, interrupt, like, awesome moments that she could write. You know, they go to, they go to Paris, and she's not, you know, looking at the Eiffel Tower. She's sitting there writing a story about herself. Only she changes her name. That's always bugged me. I'm like, dude, you know, be creative. You know, I think when I was her age, the main characters in my stories had, like, trendy, made-up names and stuff. I remember very distinctly, after hearing Mackenzie for the first time when I was about 10 years old, that became my favorite name, and, like, half the characters in my stories were named Mackenzie, even though, like, there'd be two Mackenzies in a story sometimes. Eh, whatever. You know, and... I always had a thing for rhyming names, and all the families in my stories would have really huge families like the Pikes, because, let's be honest about that, too, I always wanted to be a Pike mem family member. And when I read 10 Kids, No Pets, I wanted to be the, the you know, the, the 12th kid. I want Laura for, you know, because it was A, B, C, D, E. I don't remember all of their names. Actually, I think I do, which is even more disturbing. But the last one was Keegan, and he was a K, so I'm like, hey, they could have an L, and then they, she could be Laura, but we actually... I gotta admit, Tessie and I used to get take baby name books and go open them. Here's the first A on the A page. Here's the first B on the second B on the B page. Um, yeah, there's a whole house full of baby name books up in here. Um, I know it's probably backwards if you guys are looking at it, but it does say Beyond Ava and Aiden, and there's probably one in every room in my house because that's how I name characters half the time. But you know, I always liked the idea of having a lot of kids in a family and having them all be really close and everything really be fun. You know, and then I hear my mom's stories about how her family is a uh, girl, boy, girl, boy, ugh, I just said that wrong, girl, boy, boy, girl, 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 girl. Uh, and there's like 10 to 15 month gaps between the first four kids, so it's four kids in four and a half years. And 
they let's see um my brother her brothers used to beat each other up all the time um to the point where my, my grandma didn't even try to stop it anymore she one time a shoe came flying out of the room and she just threw it back in and bonked one of them on the head had to take them to the er i think uh, my mom and my aunt went to chase each other around the kitchen with kitchen knives. So I don't think the Pikes are an accurate representation of what families like that are like. Oh no, the triples are mean to Nikki all the time. Yeah, they're big brothers. That is exactly how big brothers are. I don't have one. I don't have any little brothers either. But, you know, my sister and I were bees, as we say at work to each other. And I allowed to swear on the sales floor at work. So if you say bees, I don't want to be a bee, but I need you to do this. So anyway, the Pike family, you know, just a little too happy and a little too friendly. So, and Mallory, just a little too whiny. That's it for now. Talk to you guys again in April. And I am not telling you which babysitter we're, we're going to be discussing. Other than I had to do that babysitter in that book because I've got this joke lined up for, you know, ever since I started this blog. That it just has to be told. Bye!